Hello, thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. And today we're looking at increasing versus positivity graphically, and we're looking at increasing versus decreasing and positive versus negative level two. So what we're doing is we're building on some previous lessons where we're talking about interval notation and we're talking about the different characteristics of functions. Okay, so we want to be able to describe intervals where they're increasing or they're positive or both. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, this chart here. So I've put this in a previous video where you had positive and negative. The positives uh, above the x-axis, negatives below the x-axis. Also had where you show where something's increasing going up, decreasing going down. So we're kind of putting a combination together where you can see where it's increasing and decreasing and positive and negative so this way is a uh, area to get confused usually when you think increasing you're thinking positive and you're thinking decreasing you're thinking going down but here um i want you to just focus on the top being positive and the bottom being negative so let's take a look at a few examples here so here it's just multiple choice here and they give you the, the function and they tell you the interval right here between point a and point B so we're going to find that interval between A and B okay now what's going on here is two things it's either positive or negative or it's either going up or it's going down right so those are your four choices here so we know it's in the negative part and we know it's going down so it's going to be negative and decreasing all right let's look at another example all right, here it says what is true about the graph on the interval between point A and B. So we find A and B, which is right here. And, well, it's in the negative area at the bottom below the x-axis. And it's also going down. It's decreasing. So it's going to be D. It's negative and decreasing. All right, here's another example. This one involves infinity. It says x equals negative infinity to x equals a. So we're going from negative infinity this way all the way up to a. So we're going here. So negative infinity to a stops here. So it's in the bottom still. This one is negative as well. But this one's going up from left to right. So it's increasing. So it's going to be c, negative and increasing. All right, here's another example. So we've got this graph here. We've got um, the interval here. It says what is true about the graph on the interval from point F to point G. So we're going to find F to G, which is from here to here. And that one's in the negative area too. I promise you they won't all be negative uh, when you work these out. But uh, this was negative and it's going up. So it's going to be negative and increasing. All right, and last one like this here, we got x is equal to c to x is equal to positive infinity. So from c to positive infinity. Now it's going down, but it's going to the right, and right is positive for x here. So it's positive infinity, and from c to positive infinity going to the right. So it's in this lower area, so it's negative, and it's decreasing, so it's going to be d. All right. Now, now look at let's look at some where you're talking about increasing versus decreasing and positive versus negative uh, together here. So, again, positives up top, negatives on the bottom, and increasing and decreasing. So here we have a graph, and what it wants to know is. Determine all the intervals in which the graph of f is increasing. So we just want to find where it's increasing at. So it's increasing here from negative 1 to positive 2. And we only look at the x. We're only going to look at the x from negative 2 to 2. I'm sorry, negative 1 to 2. We're going to put uh, the interval. So from negative 1 to 2. 
is the answer. And we're just going to keep it in parentheses here. I'm pretty certain all the questions from this section are going to have parentheses and not brackets. All right, let's look at another one. All right, so f of x is less than or equal to zero. So we want to find everything is less than or equal to zero. So that equal to, you might think bracket, but don't worry about brackets on this because basically you just want to know the interval between when it is less than or equal to zero. So that's this section here. So it's, it's less than zero here. It's zero right here at negative seven, but now it's less than, less than, less than, equal to zero. We go less than, less than, less than, less than, equal to zero, right? Uh, as far as the y is concerned. So that is the interval. We got to find the x. What's the lowest to the highest there? So that's going to be negative seven all the way to five. And we're just going to put that in parentheses. Okay, so negative seven all the way to five is our answer. All right, let's look at this one. Here we want to find every area where it's decreasing, not negative, decreasing. Where is it going down? So it's going down here, and it's going down here. All right, so what we want to do is write two intervals. We have from negative 2 to positive 3. And we have 7 going to infinity, okay? So those are our two intervals where it's decreasing. Now, I put or. I'm not sure if it's going to take or or it will take the u. But these are the two intervals that you need. Negative 2 and 3 and 7 and infinity. All right, let's take a look at another one. All right, here, determine all the intervals in which f of x is greater than or equal to zero. So everywhere where it's positive, which is here. So it starts to be positive here at 2, and it goes on and to infinity. So it goes from 2 to infinity. So that's going to be 2 to infinity. All right, let's look at our last example. I right, forgot to put in that other slide here, but determine all the intervals in which a graph of f is decreasing, going down, going down. So here are the intervals where it's going down. So it's going from negative infinity. There we go. Going from negative infinity all the way up to zero. Then it starts to go up and then at five starts to go down again to positive infinity. So we're going to have, and I put the U on this one, negative 8, comma, 0. So, ne sorry, not negative 8, negative infinity. So from negative infinity all the way to 0, and from 5 all the way to infinity. And that's it. That is determining... Uh, positive and negative increasing and decreasing domains from a graph using interval notation. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Ware's videos. Have a nice day.